Extended depth of focus is an interesting concept that people are talking about a lot now. And really, most lenses that are labeled like that are not. The only true EDOF lens is the small aperture lens, the IC8. Uh, but in common usage, what most people mean when they talk about extended depth of focus is a lens that gives good distance vision and functional near vision, but minimizing unwanted visual phenomena, as distinct from a full multifocal lens that gives good distance and good near, but often has some unwanted visual phenomena associated with it. An EDOF lens is really about functional vision, so that patients can get through most situations without having to wear glasses, even though they may need some magnifying glasses for small print or reading in poor light. But they have functional vision, so often we have 90% of patients not wearing glasses most of the time, whereas with a monofocal lens, pretty much all those patients will need reading glasses for anything within an arm's length. So EDOF really generates functional vision for patients. This new concept of capsule fixation answers a few of the questions or problems that we have with existing IOL technologies. And these problems are universal pretty much to all lenses. And the main one really is that when we put a lens in the eye, we don't really know where it's going to end up. Its exact position in the eye, its centration, its anterior posterior position in the eye. But if we can attach that lens to the anterior capsule, so capsular fixation, we now have for the first time the ability to predict exactly where that lens will be in the eye. So a capsule fixated lens, particularly with reference to an EDOF lens, means that we can get more refractive, better refractive outcomes, more accurate refractive outcomes. We can minimize, if not eliminate, decentration, and we can pretty much eliminate negative dysphotopsia. Capsule fixation of a lens right now is a new and relatively novel concept, but it's becoming much more common, and we have a few lenses coming to the market that allow for capsule fixation. We've done a trial now, we've got 50 patients enrolled with our EDOF capsule fixated lens, and the results are quite spectacular. But as we go ahead, it'll be interesting to see how this is applied in clinical practice. Uh, you can imagine this could well become the standard way to implant an intraocular lens for the benefits we've described of more predictable refractive outcomes, the elimination of negative dysphotopsia, and far more accurate centration of the lens. Because apart from anything else, that opens up opportunities for the clever optical engineers to design far more complex lenses because they no longer have to account for potential decentration.